Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you a web user interface to run large language models. It is called Load of Large Language Models. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to install it and run it on your local machine. This helps to set up large language models on your local computer. First step, type git clone github.com paris neo slash lol lms hyphen web ui and click enter. Next, go inside that folder. Now we are going to set up a virtual environment. To do that, type conda create minus n name lol lms python 3.11. This will set up a virtual environment where you can install all your dependencies and packages. Once after it gets in, uh, installed, type conda activate lol lms. Now install the required packages. pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade hyphen r requirements.txt. Upgrade is just for you to, if you want to upgrade the packages which you installed previously, which is an optional parameter. And then click enter. This should in install the required packages. Now the packages got installed. Next, what we are going to see is add some configurations. To do that, go into Zeus folder. Inside the ZOOS folder, you should be able to see three folders which you can delete it because you need to add extra files there. So I'm going to type rf, remove hyphen rf star and then yes for all the prompts. Now all the files got deleted. Now I'm going to clone Paris Neo and personality zoo. I'm going to clone that. Click enter. Next, download the binding zoo, that git clone binding zoo. Third is git clone extensions zoo. Click enter. Now if you see the folder, you've got three folders which all the configuration required. Now go back to the root folder and then type python app.py and press enter. This should start your user interface. Now it's asking in which folder you want to save all your configurations, the additional configuration of the common configurations and other models. So you can either choose the default one or you can create a new folder and assign it to that. I'm going to keep the default one for now. Click enter. Now the configurations are getting set up. Now you can see the user interface is up, which is running in localhost 9600. We are going to navigate into that. So I'm inside the load of large language models interface now. In the settings tab, first step is to choose the binding zoo. So here I'm going to install OpenAI. Click install. That should get OpenAI installed. Then after that, go into settings tab. After you click settings, I settings button, then you'll have OpenAI key. There you can enter your OpenAI key, which should look something similar to this. You can generate the OpenAI key from OpenAI platform. Once or after you save your OpenAI key, now you can go into the models zoo tab. There you can choose what model you want to use. So click the model what you want to use. I'm going to use GPT-4. You can install multiple models like this. So click the hamburger icon and then click install. Once after you choose the model, you can go and save your changes. Now we have everything ready, which is OpenAI binding. We have chosen GPT-4 and the model we are using is through OpenAI. Now navigate to discussions tab. They click a new conversation. Now you can see GPT-4 got activated. Here you can write, create a meal plan for today. Now it's generating. I'm happy to help you create a meal plan for today. Breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, and dinner. This is how you directly talk to ChatGPT directly from your local machine using this UI. Also, I want to show you how you can run any other open source large language model on your computer. In the settings tab, you should be able to check all the bindings on the models. So go into binding zoo and choose one of the provider. In my situation, I'm installing GPT for all. So whatever the GPT for all provides, those models, you can install it. So as soon as you install GPT for all, in the models zoo tab, you should be able to see all the models provided by GPT for all. There you can choose and install the required models. That's it, as simple as that. So even if you want to test other models, you can go into settings and then download the provider such as GPT for all, and you can download 
whatever open source model that provider provides and then run the large language model on your locally on your computer please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching